Okay. Uh, uh. So I made a little, little list here of different things floating around in my head. Uh, okay, so I've got the normal things that occur when a tar when you are a targeted individual. Okay, I've just got like brief points that I'll read and comment as I go here. Um, okay, so things that when they like to come into your house and piss around. Common things that have occurred over the years with the stuff in the house here happen to be things like toothpaste. Okay, right, so you got your favorite kind of toothpaste, you know, maybe you don't. We do. And sometimes they don't have it, so you got to buy like a, I call it a spare one for now, you know, and then when they replace what you're looking for in the item at the store it, it you know you just have to wait sometimes so you got to get something spare so with toothpaste when those kind of things happen later you know you're at home you got a full thing of toothpaste whatever you go somewhere leaving your house and maybe not the first time that the toothpaste is fully full second time maybe that you leave your house whatever sometimes it's right off the hop you'll you'll go to brush your teeth and your toothpaste it seems as though it's like a quarter empty like you know you got three quarters of your toothpaste left and you've only used it a few times between a couple people it's like huh would you use the toothpaste to clean something you know or like what but that's a pattern over the years with toothpaste Wait, and I also have, oh, and coffee. That's another one with the coffee. You know, you buy a big thing of coffee. Now it's down. Or it might hype you up a little different. So it's like they put something in it or something. Okay, that's another one. Um, I've also got, oh, peroxide. Here's a little story. Okay, um, living out in the country, I like to keep certain things in stock. One of them happens to be peroxide. I'll keep three to four like bottles of peroxide in the cupboard, in the kitchen space provided for that kind of stuff. And when it gets low, meaning like, oh shit, we only have two left, or oh, we only got one left, I'll go replace it so that there's about three or four at all times. Um, especially in the winter, spring, um, I have cats, so when they get into fights for cat reasons, or they're attacking a bird and the bird fights back, or something happens to the animals, peroxide is a good one to have on um, stock. So, this one time, a well, couple times, but this one time in particular when I happen to notice it, is uh, my son says, Mom, one of the cats is hurt, or whatever. Says, go get it, bring it in. You know, it's a few years back, so he goes gets the cat, brings it in. We we quarantine the cat usually like in a ki kennel. I got different kennels for for the animals, you know, needed. They're there, and so go get the peroxide. I think we're down to one left at this time. We got to go to the city and go get more pretty soon, you know, because he can't find the peroxide that. It's just a spare one that we've been keeping on top of the TV stand or something, and then the others are kept in the cupboard, right? So, I don't know where the peroxide is, Mom. We'll go get the one that's in there. It's not there. So we're like, huh. Well, we know it was down to two. We got out the other one. It should be on the TV stand. So it should be down to still one left. We both witnessed it. No. It's not there, not there. So... Whenever we went to the city, came back home, I happened to grab some more peroxide. You know, a couple, three bottles. Go to put it away, and magically, uh, where the peroxide should have been, and wasn't, oh well, it's magically there again. We both witnessed that, because when I went to put the peroxide away, I'm like, 
hey, just go over and see this. See, there's another one, you know. So we verified it together. That was a little peroxide story. Okay, and then I'll see what else I got written down here. Oh, yeah, medication. This is kind of a leaving garbage in your yard situation. Okay, so a few years back, I, um, with my ear thing, uh, antibiotics, different stuff, you know, in the past, but I'll usually get and stick with uh, homeopathic type of remedies and stuff, but sometimes you need a little bit of both sciences in there. And so there was a time when I was taking some kind of medication, probably for the ear. Um, anyways, I um, decided not to sleep in my room when the ear was flustered up because you'll toss and turn and like I'll roll over and then screw it up by sleeping on the wrong side and then it drains and then I get an infection, right? So I decided, well, I better sleep on the couch for a couple weeks so that like you can't just roll over on the couch and you know. So I had all my supplies out around this little table by the couch, kind of like you would for your bedside. And it happened to be my medications all there, you know, along with my painting supplies or whatever was there too, you know, just different stuff that I had been using on a daily basis that I wanted beside the couch, but it was like my bedside for a couple weeks. And we come home from town and the next morning I go to take the medication. It wasn't there. Looking all around, thinking, you know, maybe an animal hit the table, it knocked down. So you look around, you scope everything out, it's not there. It's not in other places where you might put it, you know. So, you're like, I don't know. So we took off. I think we went back to town or got the mail. I can't remember what it was, but we had to leave the house again. And we can't, I think it was town, now that I recall this. Coming back, um, well, before we left, I said to my boy, I says, watch. I says, the medication, it'll show up in a weird spot, like over there on the floor or up there over there by the TV stand or some damn weird thing or in the cupboard with my homeopathy remedies where we've already looked and scoped that out. Yeah, yeah, hey, mom, yeah, yeah. So there's two of us verifying that all this. So we leave came home and wow here's the medication right beside the the where my bedside was by the couch but on the floor <laughs> sitting straight up it wasn't knocked over you know like maybe it was up there or maybe it was hanging from the ceiling and fell down no <laughs> it was sitting straight up against the table oh but we didn't notice that it could have been there before. Yeah. So, and that one, too, there's a part two to that story, too. Um, so, I'll just, okay, so with the Burger King, there's this Burger King garbage the next day because the container itself, when it was returned, had grease, grease. Like, I smelt the container. It smelt kind of like greasy fast food crap, eh? So I'm all, ugh, you know. <sighs> so, anyways, the next morning, go outside, and it was springtime because there was still snow on the ground, but it was melting. And there was this fresh bag sitting where, like, I would park my truck if we came home and had to unload supplies before putting it in the garage. Well, the truck was already in the garage at this point, but there was a bag of garbage, and uh, we don't do Burger King really, you know, so it's like, it's not our garbage. It's fresh garbage. It hadn't sat there all winter because the bag would be ripped and snow would have been on it and it would have looked weathered. Well, this bag was fresh, just sitting there after the night before me. It smells like it maybe Burger King or some shit. I don't know. You know, it smoked greasy. Well, so there was my verification that... Oh, so it was some Burger King goof, you know, taking my pills, bringing them back, that kind of thing. 
Uh, let's see here. What else have I got written down? Oh, yeah. Tools taken and brought back. That's common, too. Like, a hammer. You got five or six hammers. But you like to use one or two more than the others. You know, the others are just spares. So, either... It's usually your gooder ones, you know, you like your better ones that go missing. Then they return them in weird spots, like in the back of your half ton or in your, in your, you know, in your garage where, you know, you didn't have it or under your bed. Weird, weird shit. Like all the time, different things. But these are just some of the things that they like to piss around with, with me <laughs> and my son. So, okay, tools taken, the Burger King thing, uh, oh yeah, jerry cans, that's another famous one. Living in the country, you know, you need, like, or maybe even in the city, you got a jerry can, your lawnmowers, stuff like this, you know. And now you got, like, ten, ten jerry cans, but all of them seem to have their lids magically missing, or the better one that you've been using goes missing and you look all around so you use an old one you tie a bag around it you do whatever and then the other one returns but it, it's in perfect condition just to piss you off because you had to go through the hassle you know stuff like that over the years they that's you know okay um i'm kind of laughing now because i mean that's all that you can do but when it's happening it's not so funny so like i'll be freaking out or something you know but once, yeah, this is okay. Um, oh yeah, typical clothing gets holes. Socks, shirts, pants, jackets, footwear, underwear, you name it, gets holes. My auntie once told me that she, she lived, uh, on the farm too or whatever, but she would get, uh, pins in her panties. And would you like, so... And I know she's a targeted individual, too, so that was just kind of weird. I didn't get that, but, like, what I get is my under will go missing. And then two years even later, they'll reappear in a weird spot. Like, two fucking years later, it's like, I thought I had a pair like that, but, yeah, huh. So, you know, it's like, they like to fuck around with all your supplies that you use on a daily basis. <laughs> Socks will get weird magic holes in them and they're brand new in the toe or something and it looks like they took the seam apart you know uh, jackets my son's jackets my jackets uh my pants i've even had burn holes in my pants when i know i wasn't nearby a fire with those pants or like smoking something where it dropped down or you know uh, no i was i sleep in those pants so like i ain't putting burn holes in them out by the fire pit and yes, I do know which ones that I would put burn holes in over by the fire pit or something, you know, but it's, it's ones that make you go, hmm, did I also wear these out there? No, you know, different weird, just to make you think and go, oh, well, I wonder and get paranoid. Okay, so... Oh yeah, another famous one over the years is, okay, I got animal bins for their food, because um, when you buy, when I have to go in, I get like four bags of dog food, four bags of cat food, or whatever at one time, so when you come home, you have to have a place to store it, I'm just going to leave it sitting there, you know, it's, they'll rip it open, whatever, something, something, can't leave it out in the shed, you know, the cats will rip open the shed to get at it, or just, so I buy bins, and they're like great big huge garbage bins with a lid that you have to turn to open, so that they can't get in, um, and it keeps it fresh and safe and all that stuff too, and you don't have to keep these ugly looking animal bags around, right? So, it all gets dumped into the bins right full to the top of the bin maybe a little bit down sometimes from the bin but we always know whereabouts it is oh we're getting down to about a quarter of the bin left we need to go get more you know so um what happens there is we'll do a top off like it'll be right full 
and then we have to run to town to go get some supplies or the mail or go back to the city for something, you know, and when we get home, the bins will be like three quarters full instead of all the way to the top. And all we did maybe is one morning feed, so it should still be right at the top. Or two morning feeds even, if we take a couple days before going back. So that's a common one, is they like to take the animal food. Making it harder for me to uh, keep up with those kinds of bills. Because uh, it can cost you big bucks having fucking animals. But the animals are there for me, and I am there for them. So, you know, I even give... The animals food, the cats sometimes outside, and the crows will come along and go, oh, leftovers, especially in the spring because, you know, it goes through the snow, and the birds come along in the spring and we kind of watch them clean up the yard. So, it's, you know, <laughs> anyways, okay, so there's an animal food bin story, how they like to piss around there. Oh yeah, okay, and another thing too is when we've had a long city day, doing errands, running around, sometimes it's like 12 hours later, and it's like, okay, we finally get to go fucking home now, or six hours, or whatever it takes, sometimes it takes quite a long time when you're doing your run around errands, you know. Um, so by the time we get home, the animals are all excited, ooh, mom and Justin are home, yay, you know, stuff like this. But nights that, not every night, because sometimes it's different, but nights that I know that the house has been tampered with, the dogs will trip out at us pulling in the yard and trying to come in our own house. Normally they know it's we, what the scoop is, because they've been traumatized in one form or another. They freak out like we are a predator trying to get in our own home, and they're just ready to rip it. And it's like, hey guys, hey guys, it's just us, you know. And then they're still just like, ah, 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 ah. and other nights, especially the older ones, they seem doped, doped right out of it. Like, they're just laying there, docile, looking up, like, hey, well, man, mom's home, bro. You know, like, what the hell's wrong with the dog? It's been drugged so that they could do their fucking bullshit instead of being barked at. Yeah. I'm going to just push pause for a minute because that one really fucking pisses me off too. And they know it. And they like to fuck with me and the animals. Okay, so I've got silverware and paint supplies left to talk about here. Oh yeah, okay. So with, <laughs> with my art, some of it, and I got a few hundred piles of art that's on paper and a few hundred on canvas. With some of the canvas work, um, especially ones that I was just working on or, you know, kind of tuck in behind and go, yeah, I, I'll finish that one soon, but I get bored with it or whatever because i got lots, lots, lots. So I just tuck away. And I'm like, oh yeah, that other, what? It kind of relates to a series that I'm working, so I'll pull it out too. And it'll have a nice little gash. Nice little gash, but yay long. Sometimes, um, that long. On a bigger one, like one like this, you know, I've had gashes from here all the way down to here. I've had uh, pinholes through them. It looks like they took like something and stabbed it. Uh, so then what it does for me is because it's like, oh, thank you very much. I got to go and do patch jobs, fix it, uh, repair it, piss around, and it just costs me time and a hassle and yada yada, right? So... Oh, yes, and they like to also, an artist will know generally what, what piles that their art go into, like this series goes here, this series goes here, this may be a mixed series where you're not too sure what it's relating to or something at the time, so you have it in your mixed piles and stuff, you know, and you're kind of organized. Well, I'll find weird paintings that have nothing to do with why would I organize it in there? It just doesn't make sense. And now to someone else, it might be like, well, you might have just tucked it in there, not thinking or something. New, because they're fucking with me. And 
it's like, okay, so I was just painting on this one last night or something, right? And then I leave, or maybe not last night, maybe three days ago, a week ago. And you, you stash it over here because you're tired with it. Um, but it's in the working progress pile, say, you know. But now instead of in the working progress pile, it's over in your ancient fucking Rome series or something. Or, it, you know, it's in, in tucked behind a canvas. Or it's like, no, nah, I wouldn't have tucked it in behind that freaking project work that's to do with aliens like what the hell does that have to do with the forest well maybe i would have put it in there because the forest the aliens knew that this is ancient forest stuff that is alien crap it, it just makes no sense so they like to do shit like that to me and possibly other artists i'm not sure however it's one that i find a pattern so art supplies oh yeah and art supplies um, it's more my paintbrushes, like, the other night my sink, when I woke up, <laughs> had been tampered with once again. It's been either the bathroom sink or the kitchen sink over the years. It, it doesn't matter. Just pick a sink, you know? And so, it's not something that we've done. It's, you know, sometimes it has been. It's like, oh shit, green tea leaf got down there. That's our fault. That, that's not a gang stalker. I know the difference. Um, I'm not going to find a freaking paintbrush, shut down the fucking thing, you know, is this half a paintbrush, whatever, half this size was shoved down, I mean, I keep the paintbrushes in, in different places, I do not keep them nearby the kitchen sink, except for when I'm rinsing them, but they do not, ac if, if it accidentally falls down, that's my mistake, I forgot, oh my goodness, you know, that's not a gang stalker, but, since they like to fuck with my sinks, what they did recently is I had a set of five paintbrushes. Here's a set. has a little case. But this set of five was in a bag. See how I tie them? I have bins. They're, they're all they're, they're taken care of. They're, you know. So I had a pack of five paintbrushes, ready to rumble, but I had like five sets of them, so I used four, and I had one left, so that means that I have one extra pack of five paintbrushes that should be around here, in that bin, that bin, or right here, but is not. Went missing. So then I was like, oh, well, I'm not surprised. Just carried on. About a month goes by, and when the sink shit the other night occurred, there was a paintbrush shoved down there, and the five pack of paintbrushes magically reappeared in a plant because <sighs> I had watered the plants before I left that day. So, nice place to put it. You know, we were watching you water the plants. Yeah, put it in the plant, agent says to other agent. So, okay, that's that's nice. You know, found the paintbrushes right on. However, I already know what the fuck they're doing, so it's like. Just keep jacking yourself, assholes. Anyways, so I get pissed off at this kind of shit because it's all the fucking time. And they know it. So they like to see me get, like, angry, like I did in, in that video when I was tripping out about the sink. Yeah. All for the money, two for the show, hey, motherfuckers? Okay. I think that's about all that I, uh... Oh, no, one more is silverware. Bowls, spoons, common to go missing. Forks, knives, common to go missing. And be replaced, or not replaced, but returned. Somewhere suspicious, like under your couch, under your bed, uh, out in the yard. Um, pots and pans go missing, they appear like... Did we use that pot to feed the cat with the other day and leave it outside? No. It was on the freaking stove or on the floor and now it's gone. But now it magically returns. You know, stuff like this is very common in my life and my son's life. So I hope that these stories may help others piece together some things too um other than that documenting like a journal so that if something happens to me uh 
these tidbits of information are left there. But they also like to take down my videos. Uh, that does, I have to try, and um, I've been trying for a few days now to retrieve this video that I believe is um, satellite weapon technology somehow, somehow, that shows up on my garage since about 2009 over the years, and I've captured uh, a few videos of it recently, the past couple of years, that my phones weren't wiped or, or taken, and I was able to upload. And it, uh, it magically got erased off of this channel. It's one of my first three. There was three at the very bottom of my channel is three videos that show the image, images that appear on my garage over the years. And one of them happened to just no longer exists. So I'm trying to retrieve it back onto my device for three days now. And it's like, fuck you, bitch, you're not going to retrieve it over and over and over. So eventually, when that one does get retrieved, I will re-upload it. Um, like they think that it's going to bother me because it has no views or something, or they want to just steal it or whatever reasons. But they didn't take all of those videos. They just took one out of three. And now if it magically reappears to make me try and look crazy, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, anyways, I guess that's it. Take care.